Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti from AnthonyMorganti.com and this is episode 81 of Photo Critiques. And in Photo Critiques, people send me in some of their best work and I critique each shot with suggestions on how they can improve it. And today I'm pleased to critique the work of Kingsley Lee. Kingsley sent me in four images, so this will be kind of a short critique but um, some very nice images and this first one um, exemplifies that very well done I like what uh, Kingsley did here he has the horizon not in the middle he put it at the lower third and the foreground element or maybe the midground element is the uh, sailboat and it's not in the middle it's to the right to the right third so very nicely composed I like the colors I like the processing the only thing I could suggest on this shot is you have a couple sensor spots that I could see right off the bat there's one lighter one there and there's a real dark one over here so you really got to get rid of those sensor spots in post um, if you you know cling your um, your sensor too that's like a never-ending project for me is always cleaning the sensors on my cameras but clean the sensor uh, you're still gonna get them though even if you clean your sensor so you know get rid of them in post because if you print this even an 8x10 those will show up like sore thumbs so you don't want those to be ruining an otherwise perfect shot uh, Kingsley shot at 1 50th of a second f of 5.0 ISO 100 18 millimeters of his 18 to 55 millimeter lens so at 18 millimeters this was probably very distorted and he did um, correct for that probably in Lightroom or you know another program Lightroom so he did a very nice job very very nice shot it's a very nice composition we have a foreground element in nice focus um, you know the whole scene is in good focus we have the um, very long exposure of six seconds which helps blur the water and smooth it out like that um, very well done the overall scenes a little dark uh, the dynamic range of the camera just can't handle the very bright parts of the scene in these very dark parts of the scene so you might want to open up on shadows a little bit it's um, kind of you know up to the photographers taste the reason why I encourage this is if you do ever print these things the um, the uh, shadows tend to not look as good being so dark and I think it adds detail to the shot so there is the before and there is the after so if you open up on the shadows a little bit the overall scene too s seems to be skewed to the right like slightly tilted um, I you know that's okay it kinda is a leading line going that way from this way the stone is shaped to that but maybe when you composed it I don't know if you could have um, rearrange things a little bit so it wasn't just slightly hanging to the right it just doesn't look as natural so again it was at six seconds f6.3 ISO 100 26 millimeters it's a very very nice shot um, you know the lighting is is just about perfect really very well done the eyes are a little dark and we um you often hear me say is try to um, keep the eyes you know shine some light in the eyes you could maybe had a reflector uh, below it could have even been just a white piece of paper to try to shine some light back up into the um, the child's face so you had just a little brighter um, brighter eyes is what I'm talking about here it just adds to the shot if the eyes are brighter um, yeah that's you know that's a little bit there's before and there's after that's what I'm talking about just um, you could do it in post just like I did now I did that really quickly of course you take your time and do it um, you know very diligently to get nice even lighting in both eyes You'd probably use two different brushes one for the left eye one for the right eye um, so they're more evenly lit as I look at it now his left eye is a little brighter than his right eye but um, that's the point I'm trying to make I think in this case if um, let me turn off my brush so we get that button out of there there we go is um see there's the before and there's the after I think the eyes just need to be a little brighter as I mentioned this one's a little too bright but you get the idea what I'm talking about and this is the last shot this is a very very cool shot a uh, very night uh, of the city a very you know the lights are super bright um, 30 seconds at f of 8 um, so it's a very long exposure very well done you get that real long exposure you get this water smoothed out and it helps reflect the light also one thing um, I should say is it's distorted 
we have the buildings kind of tilted in towards each other. As you see, these ones on the right are tilted towards the left, and the ones on the left are really badly tilted toward the right because they're closer to the camera. Um, if you try to correct for this, I would bet, um, bear with me here, let's go down to lens corrections. And if I now click on full, I got a feeling it's really going to distort the picture to tr try to straighten those buildings. Yeah, it did. And um, see what it did here is to straighten out the buildings, you lost all this over here and you cut off the top of this building. So what I'm getting at is as a photographer, you have to be aware of these when this, these types of things when you take the shot. That you, When you shoot at 28 millimeters, your buildings are going to tilt towards the center of each other. So what you have to do is you have to back up even more and you have to make this city scene even more diminutive diminutive, 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 littler. Make it smaller in the shot so it sits way back. Then when you hit full, like I just did over here on lens corrections, and it straightens everything out, you'll still have enough room where you won't lose the top of this building. And when you crop out these uh, white bars down here, you'll still have a lot of the shot. Uh, you'll still have the shot as you meant it to be in the scene. So keep that in mind when you're shooting with a real wide angle lens. Any verticals in your shot will tend to tilt in and you should correct for that in post because this as you look at the shot now I mean you have to agree this looks more natural. The buildings are going straight up and down. Unfortunately it destroyed the shot because of this white borders cut off this shot up here. So there's the before. I mean, it's kind of a cool shot just to have, you know, kind of the ominous looking um, buildings right in front of you. But more geometrically correct would be a stronger image. So that's it for episode 81 of Photo Critiques. I'd like to thank Kingsley for sending me in his images. I really do appreciate it. And I'd like to thank everyone who watches all my videos. I really do appreciate that. And if you haven't already, Go over to YouTube and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'd really appreciate that. And go over to my website, anthonymorganti.com. I got all kinds of photography stuff over there for you. So that's it for episode 81. I'll talk to you guys soon.